The owner of the treehouse, Bob, lives in another country, and the house is located 15 miles away from the village and other people. That's why Bob installed a special digital clock on the door. When Henry booked the property, Bob gave him a six-digit password. But unfortunately, Henry had lost it. Here's a hint. M80. Can you help the guy crack the code? These symbols are mirrored digits. Split them apart and you'll get the code 1133CC. The guys unlocked the door. But as soon as Mia entered the living room, she got very scared. She asked Henry to call the police. Why? The treehouse is in the middle of nowhere. Who lit the candles and the fire? The house was locked. Henry checked all the rooms, but found no clues. What about you? Any ideas who that could be? That roof window is open. Someone crawled inside the house before the guy's arrival. And now that someone is hiding under the bed, see? The guys called the police. Officers promised to arrive within an hour. Mia decided to take a shower. When she returned to the living room, she realized that Henry had disappeared. Mia searched the garden, then checked all the rooms in the house and returned to the garden again. But she failed to find any clues. Can you help her? The hot tub was open when Mia began her search, but now it's closed. Pretty suspicious. Mia was walking through the garden. Suddenly, a man in a mask popped out of nowhere and pushed her. Mia stepped on a trap and fell into a deep well. She yelled, Please help me out! No one answered, but Mia's phone pinged. The masked man offered her to play a game. Otherwise, she'd have to stay in the well forever. Here's the first riddle. I come in many different colors, and I get bigger when I'm full. I will float away if you don't tie me down and I will make a loud sound if I break. What am I? Mia nailed it immediately. What about you? The correct answer is a balloon. Here's the second question. I can jump and I can climb. With many legs, I swing from tree to tree. I can make a house much bigger than me. What am I? Have you guessed? It's a spider. And the final question. I come out at night without being called. I'm lost in the day without being stolen. What am I? Can you help Mia? The correct answer is a star. A hatch opened at the bottom of the well. Mia went through it and got into a creepy basement. There, she found three ways to freedom, but every door hit some danger. A fire-breathing dragon was sleeping behind the first door. The corridor behind the second door was filled with high-voltage wires. And a vampire was waiting behind the third door. Suddenly, a message appeared on the screen of the girl's phone. Hurry up! Soon the walls will close in and smash you! Which way should Mia choose? She should wait until the walls are close enough so that she can scare the vampires away with this stake and go through the third door. When the police arrived at the treehouse, they found Mia and Henry at the porch. Henry had just woken up. The robbers had put sleeping pills in his coffee. The officers searched the area and found some clues. They concluded that the criminals were planning to leave the country by train. Unfortunately, no one knew what they looked like or how big the group was. So they stopped four suspicious people at the railway station and examined their baggage. Can you figure out who's innocent?
Why would a bald man need shampoo? And this supposedly blind person has a flashlight. This guy is carrying three tubes of toothpaste, but no single toothbrush. It seems that only the third guy isn't a criminal. Three friends lived not far from one another and often met to drink some coffee together. Their names were Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, and Mr. White. One day, they noticed that under their coats, they were wearing t-shirts of different colors, red, blue, and white. Mr. Blue said, Hey, Mr. White, have you noticed that we're all wearing colors that are different from our actual names? The man wearing the white shirt answered, Wow, you're right! Can you figure out the shirt of which color each of them was wearing? Mr. Blue can only be wearing white or red, but we've already learned that someone else is wearing the white shirt. That means that Mr. Blue can only be wearing the red shirt, and Mr. White can only be wearing a blue or red shirt. And the red shirt is already taken, so Mr. White is wearing the blue shirt. Then Mr. Red is wearing the white shirt. These three women, Jessica, Mary, and Olivia, went shopping. Two of them are pregnant, and one is just trying to steal a watermelon. Can you tell which one is hiding a watermelon? It's Olivia. She's wearing heels. It's not the kind of shoes a pregnant woman would choose to wear. Ow! A taxi driver is moving in the wrong direction along a one-way road. A police officer notices him doing it, but does nothing to stop him. Why? The taxi driver is walking. Ice will melt if you heat it. But if you heat me, I'll become solid. What am I? I'm an egg. You buy this thing to eat, but you never eat it. What is it? It's a plate. Mia was going back home one evening. It was 11 p.m., and she had to cross a small dark park in front of her house. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind. Someone grabbed her bag and ran away. The girl called the police, and they questioned four suspects. Jack said, I was choosing an outfit for a party. Camilla was getting ready for her final exam at home. Andrew told the police he had been watching birds in the park. Nora was at her yoga class. After the interview, the police understood who was behind the accident. Can you? It was Andrew. At 11 p.m., it's too dark to see birds. James left a folder with important documents on the table in his home office and went to a business meeting. When he returned, he found out that the documents had disappeared. James had three suspects. His brother said, I've been swimming in the pool since you left. I haven't seen or heard anything. The cook replied, Tomorrow we're having a party. I've been preparing the food. The security guard told James, I've been outside all this time, checking the garden for mice. Who knows where the documents are? It's the security guard. His job description doesn't include pest control. An accident happened at a busy crossroads in a small town. The driver who caused the crash left in a hurry. Luckily, several witnesses managed to describe the car. The police officer headed to the suspect's house. There, he saw a car that looked exactly like the one from the description. But its owner claimed he had spent all day at home. The police officer understood the suspect was lying in no time. How? He 
he touched the car hood. It was still hot from the engine that had worked not so long ago. Ben and his wife Sophia decided to go to the mountains. Ben got round-trip tickets, and the couple set off on a journey. On the third day there, Ben and Sophia were walking along a challenging trail high above the ground. They started to argue, and Sophia accidentally lost her footing and fell off the cliff. Ben had nothing to do but to return home on his own. As soon as he arrived, he called the police to report the accident. After that, he was arrested. Why? All accidents have to be reported immediately to the local police. And Ben wasted a lot of time to get back home and only then informed the authorities. You're walking along a railroad track. Suddenly, you see a speedy train dashing in your direction. Instead of getting off the track, you run towards the train. Only at the last minute you manage to jump aside. Why do you risk your life this way? When you notice the train, you're on a bridge. You can't leave the track right away and have to run to the closest place where you can do it. It took five years to build the tallest tower in the world. Every next year, the constructors doubled its height. How many years did it take for the tower to get half as tall as it is now? Four years. If the builders doubled the height every year, the tower had to be half its final height a year before it was completed. Once Daniel found a coin that had a 10 BCE mark on it. The guy realized the thing had to be very old and valuable. Happy and excited, he took it to an expert. But the specialist didn't even agree to examine the coin. He told Daniel right away the thing was fake. How did he figure it out so fast? People who lived before the current era couldn't know there would be another era. That's why they couldn't make such marks on coins. Wendy and her roommate to college decided to find jobs to earn some money for an epic trip to Asia on summer vacation. Wendy downloaded a special job search app. The app offered her to solve a riddle to prove she was human. Tomorrow, I'm sure here. Yesterday, I'm found as well. Today, I'm gone. What am I? Wendy gave her answer right away and passed the test. What did she say? The correct answer is the letter R. Wendy filled her profile and received three job offers right away. Josh needed help at his coffee shop because his barista went on vacation. Trisha was ready to give Wendy a job on her bee farm. And Dylan offered good money for washing his car. What job should Wendy choose? There's a flying cat at the bee farm, so it's probably not quite safe there. This car doesn't belong to Dylan. Take a look at the picture hanging on the wall of the gas station. This car is stolen, and Dylan is the thief. Wendy's best choice is the coffee shop. Wendy arrived at the coffee shop and saw something very weird right away. Can you see it too? there's a fish on the shelf with pastries. Wendy's new boss, Josh, said, That was just a welcome prank to check how attentive you are. Josh gave her an apron and told her to get down to work. But Wendy gave him the apron back because she was sure that he was going to prank her again. Why? Why? 
take a look at the coffee shop logo and the logo on Josh's t-shirt. They don't match the logo on Wendy's apron. He challenged her attentiveness once again. A group of six students entered the coffee shop. Wendy was very nervous because they were her first clients. She asked, what would you like to order? The students decided to play a game with Wendy. The first guy showed her this pair of emojis, and Wendy cracked this puzzle right away. What did the guy order? A sandwich. Another guy showed Wendy these two emojis. Can you help her solve this? He ordered mashed potatoes. A shy student showed Wendy this combination. Can you crack it? He ordered fish fingers. And finally, the last student ordered this dish. Can you help Wendy figure it out? It's pepperoni pizza. Four friends from that group of students ordered raspberry tea. But two remaining members of the group ordered different drinks. Rob took a glass of lemonade, and Rosie asked for a double espresso. The guys drank tea, and five minutes later, they got very sick and fainted. Wendy called the ambulance. She suspected that Rosie and Rob were behind this accident. So the girl asked them why they had ordered different drinks. Rob said he'd taken lemonade because he was allergic to blackberries. And Rosie said that she hadn't slept last night and needed a big dose of caffeine. Who's lying? Rob. He's allergic to blackberries, but the guys drank raspberry tea. At the end of her work shift, Wendy went to the coffee shop basement to check the supply of drinking water. Suddenly, the door slammed shut behind her back, and she had to find another way out. Wendy walked through a creepy tunnel and saw three doors. Behind the first door, there were powerful UV lamps. Behind the second door, angry dogs were waiting. And a tunnel behind the third door was on fire. What door should Wendy choose? The third one. She can take several large water bottles and put the flames out. Next day, Wendy got a task to deliver some books. When she arrived at the needed address, she saw a building with a metal door. The door was locked, but there was a note next to the combination lock. It said, Rose, Daisy, Aloe, and Sunflower. Can you help Wendy figure this passcode out? Here's a hint. One word on this list is different from the rest. Which one? Aloe. It's not a flower. Wendy entered the building. A cute old lady received the delivery. She offered Wendy extra tips if she managed to crack her riddle. A cloud is my mother. The wind is my father. My son is a cool stream. And my daughter is the fruit of the land. A rainbow is my bed, the earth my final resting place, and I'm the torment of man. What am I? Can you help Wendy earn some extra cash? The correct answer is rain. Bizarre pricing. Alex entered a hardware store to buy something for his house. He asked the shop assistant, how much will one cost? The woman thought and said, $4. And how much will 15 cost? It'll be $8. Confused, Alex said, and what if I want to buy 333? It would be $12. What was Alex choosing?
The man was buying house numbers. A public library plan. One day, a public library made a strange announcement. Each member could borrow as many books as they wanted and didn't have to return them for the next half a year. Why? The library was moving to a new building, but they didn't have enough money because of bad budgeting. And this way, the borrowers would move most of the books by themselves. That's smart. A car accident. Mark was driving to an important business meeting. He was in a hurry since he was running a bit late. That's when he got into a car accident. His car was okay, but the other driver crashed into a tree. Luckily, he wasn't injured. They called the police. When police officers arrived, Mark told them his side of the story. I was driving fast but carefully. Suddenly, a car pulled out in front of me. I uh, managed to avoid the collision, but this guy hit the tree. When he saw my expensive car, he started to blame me for the entire accident. Because it was your fault, I was driving slowly enough, talking to my wife about our next vacation. And then you appeared out of nowhere. The police officers understood who was responsible for the accident. Can you figure it out too? It was the other driver. He was alone in his car. It means he was talking to his wife on the phone, which is illegal. Ooh, very, very bad. Trapped in a pyramid Justin was an archaeologist who explored ancient pyramids. Once, something went wrong and he got locked in a tiny room deep underground. Justin had got into the room through a narrow passage, which was almost immediately blocked by a rock slide. There was only one other door, and it was locked. To open it, the guy had to solve a riddle and enter the correct four-digit code. A, hmm, G, F, hmm, H, V, hmm, Z, J, hmm, T. What code should Justin enter? Each digit of the code is the number of letters in the alphabet that stand between the letters in the riddle. So the code is 5139. No choice. One guy was going to Disneyland. At one point, he arrived at a crossroads. There was a sign there, Blueville right, Disneyland left. The guy stood there for a while and then, terribly upset, he went home. Why? He thought Disneyland had really left. A jailbreak. A man is in a jail, and the jail is on an island. The man can't swim, but one day he manages to escape. He uses no boat or anything else that could help him to get to the mainland. There is also no bridge connecting the island with the continent. How did he do it? The man escaped in the winter when the water around the island was frozen. He simply walked away on ice. A red car. Stephen was driving to work when he realized he had left a folder with important documents at home. It was about 9 a.m. when he entered his house. At the same moment, he heard glass breaking and saw a man leaving through the back door and running to a red car. Stephen could only see several numbers on its license plate. He called the police and told them everything that had happened. They didn't waste time and went to look for the guy. After searching for 10 minutes, they spotted a similar-looking car near a cafe. When they entered the place, there was only one customer there. One of the police officers came up to them. Is it your car? Where were you 20 minutes ago? The customer answered, yes, the car's mine, but I've been sitting here for more than an hour. The police officer immediately arrested him. Why? The cafe only opens at 9 a.m. The guy couldn't have spent an hour there. Locked in. One day, Julia was sunbathing in the park and accidentally fell asleep. She woke up in a strange room with three doors. Yes, there's always three, never two or five. 
there were some random objects lying around. Bricks, empty bottles, ropes, and even a barrel. There was also a note on the wall. Behind one of these doors, there's a staircase that leads to freedom. You don't want to know what's lurking behind the other two doors. Julia got really frightened. Luckily, she figured out what to do really fast and got out in no time. What did she do? She dragged the barrel toward each of the doors, climbed on it, and checked whether the staircase was there. When she spotted it, she was free. Gemma is a mermaid. No, really. She lives in the Atlantic Ocean with her family and friends. Can you tell who the youngest sister in the family is just by looking at them? Take a look at the granny mermaid. She has plenty of starfish on her tail. It's a hint. Each star symbolizes one year of life. That means that the second mermaid is the youngest. Her tail is decorated with 15 starfish, which means she's 15. And two other sisters are 18 and 22 years old, respectively. Now one day, Gemma went to a mermaid party. But one of the guests was not a real mermaid. Can you tell who it was? This shark over there is not a mermaid. Gemma's mother, Fiona, owns a cute one-story jewelry store for mermaids. She came to her store early in the morning and found out that the most expensive necklace had been stolen. She called the underwater police. Detective Fisher <laughs> arrived and questioned Fiona. I closed the store at 10 p.m. and went home. The pearl necklace was still right there. Detective Fisher identified three suspects. The owner of the store next door said, I closed my door at 8 p.m. and went home right after that. The guard said, I was on duty last night. Perhaps the thief snuck into the store when I was patrolling another floor. And the cleaning lady said that she'd finished cleaning at 4 p.m. Then she rushed home because her husband was having a birthday party. So, who's lying? The guard. Fiona's shop is a one-story building. He couldn't be on another floor when the necklace was stolen. There's no other floor. Gemma was swimming with dolphins and reached the surface of the ocean. Suddenly, she noticed two handsome guys, Nick and Rick, and they were both in trouble. Which guy should Gemma save first? Rick. Although this wooden boat is a bit flooded with water, it's still okay, and Nick can scoop the water out. But this inflatable boat is damaged. Rick will soon find himself in the water, and a shark is nearby. Gemma saved both guys and brought them to the shore. Nick grabbed his phone and took her picture without permission. Gemma asked him to delete the photo, because merfolk didn't want people to know about them. Nick said, okay, I'll delete the evidence. But first, you gotta crack my riddle. Salty water everywhere, but not sea in sight. What am I talking about? Can you help Gemma? The correct answer is tears. Rick asked Gemma on a date, and she said yes. She went to a local witch doctor to buy a potion to get human legs for 24 hours. The door to the witch's house was locked, and the note said, If you want to meet me, find the key first. Can you help Gemma find the key? Here it is! Gemma opened the door with the key and found another door that required a password. There was a note on the door. What has 88 keys but cannot open a single door? Can you help Gemma crack the code? It's a piano! Gemma didn't have any money. 
the witch offered her this deal. If you guess my riddle, I'll give you the potion for free. But if you don't crack it, you will be my servant forever. So listen, two in a hole and four in a pack. Six in a trio, you see. Eight's a quartet, but what you must get is the name that fits just one of me. What am I? Gemma cracked this riddle right away and got her potion. What about you? The correct answer is half. Gemma got the potion, drank it, and turned into a human. There were three routes she could take to get to the meeting point. The first path led through a village inhabited by vampires. The second path is full of toxic flowers that could make her lose her mind. And the third path went through an enchanted forest that blocked all magic and canceled all previous spells. Which uh -oh. way should Gemma choose? The first option is the safest. It's a sunny day and vampires are probably sleeping. Rick and Gemma met at a restaurant called Three Mermaids. But there are only two statues of mermaids on the porch. The owner of the cafe, Victor, is well aware of this and could easily fix this. But he doesn't. Why? This is his business strategy. Passers-by notice the mistake, enter the restaurant to inform the owner, and often stay for lunch. Philip and Diane went swimming. Diane wants to practice becoming a surfer, while Philip just wants to chill in the lake. One of them is making a big mistake. Can you see it? It's Philip. The sign says that the river is infested with alligators. Diane can easily surf in large waves while there's a storm. Sean and Maggie went for their afternoon walk. Maggie finished shopping and is taking a shortcut through the forest while Sean went to the park for some fresh air. They're both approaching a broken bridge. Who will fall in? Maggie. Sean is holding a white cane, and he'll understand there's no ground a few inches away. But Maggie is distracted and looking straight ahead instead of at the ground. George and Mindy are both walking through a construction site. Mindy is walking with her daughter while George is alone. There's a hole in the middle of the pavement, but it seems nobody has seen it. Which of the two is in danger? George. The daughter is holding her mom's hand, and if she falls in, Mindy will pull her out. Lucas and Sam are participating in a selfie challenge. Lucas poses with someone who fell off of a boat in a stormy ocean. Sam is snapping photos of herself in front of a house on fire, who isn't acting smart. Lucas, he's the only one to help the person battling the waters, while in Sam's photo, the fire truck is already there. Both Alice and Liam are spending time with their sons. Alice is ready to cross a very busy street to get to the park, while Liam shows the moon and stars to his son. One of the parents is making a big mistake. Can you see which? Liam. Alice is holding her son's hand. Liam let his boy stand on the railings without holding him. Ashley and Mary were walking in the forest when they spotted some barriers. Each picked a different plant to feed on, but one of them didn't make a smart decision. Guess who? It's Ashley. There's an unconscious bird next to the plant, which indicates it's poisonous. The endangered plant seeds can be eaten. Lucy and Jack are both doing work on two different buildings. Lucy is sitting outside on the second floor, trying to clean the window. 
Jack is climbing down an apartment complex. Which of the two is less clever? Jack. Even if he's wearing a helmet, the height difference is enough to injure him. Joanna and Sissy are spending the day at home. Joanna is doing her spring cleaning while Sissy is trying to feed her son. Which of the two should rethink their actions? Sissy. There's no danger if the vacuum cleaner isn't plugged in. But it isn't a good idea to feed babies chunks of chicken with a knife and a fork. Michael is ready to break into a house that has a dog. Karen is putting the jacket on her daughter in the middle of the street. Who is in more danger? Karen and her daughter. They're kneeling and don't see the car approaching, while Michael can spot if there's a dog in the yard or not. Jason went to the water park with his son. Jake is a firefighter and was called to put out a fire. Now Jason is on the phone while a boy behind him struggles to stay on the surface of the pool. Jake is putting out a fire on a tree. Which of the two isn't bright? Jason. He's on the phone and can't hear the boy behind him. Jake is putting out the fire on the tree to prevent it from spreading to the forest. Ruth is spending the evening with her grandson, and Adam went camping. Ruth spotted a cockroach and began spreading pesticides everywhere. Adam sprayed deodorant all over him next to a fire. Who is less intelligent? It's Ruth. Even though Jason sprayed something in a pressurized can next to a fire, he's still in an open space. But Ruth is with a baby in an enclosed house filled with harsh chemicals. Simon and Kyle are at the train station. Simon is sliding backward down the stair railings while taking selfies. Kyle is sitting on the platform with his legs extending over the train track. Which of the two isn't sharp-witted? Kyle. Simon can see behind him with his phone, and even if he falls, he'll be safe. But Kyle is distracted on his phone and can't see the train coming. If he falls in the tracks, there won't be enough time for him to get out. Get the last question right! Adam was taking part in a brain teaser TV game show, and he had one last question to answer before winning $50,000. He was tired and decided to call his best friend, Luke, to help him. The host asked, If you could rearrange the order of the letters in this word, A-C-I-P-C-I-F, what does it show? A country, a city, a large mountain, or an ocean? Luke answered correctly. Can you? An ocean. If you unscramble the word, it shows Pacific. Where's he hiding? Martin vanished one morning and his family called the police. Detectives searched everywhere and questioned 15 people, but none of them gave any untruthful answers. His son Jake found a letter from his dad saying, If you love me, you'll find me. He went to his father's office to see if he could find any clues. He was looking around the room and immediately knew where his father was hiding. Can you guess it? On the wall, there's a picture frame with his dad's cabin, and it's got a hand-drawn circle on it. He must be there. Lost in an underwater cave Sarah just got her certificate as a cave diver. She decided to spend her afternoon exploring some dangerous underwater ocean caves. While turning left and right, she got lost. She didn't have enough time to look for her way back and continued swimming further. That was when she came across three openings. Through the first, there were 45 hungry piranhas. Through the second, a great white shark. 
and through the last one, a giant box jellyfish. Which is the safest path? The first one! Piranhas are freshwater fish, they can't survive in salt water. The van. Susan was outside watering her plants when she noticed three people dressed in black clothing carrying electronic devices from her neighbor's home. She asked them what they were doing, and they said they were from a moving company. Immediately, Susan called the police. Why? There were no license plates on the van, and movers don't only carry electronic equipment, but all sorts of stuff. The Prison Escape One morning, Detective Smith was called into a maximum security prison to discover how three men had managed to escape from their cells. The prisoners could neither see nor talk to each other, but they arranged their escape together. They went to the shower room at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And only one person was allowed in at different periods. How did they manage to communicate and escape? They wrote messages to each other on the bathroom mirrors, used steam to read them, and planned their escape together. The Villa Disappearance It was a cold, rainy weekend. Michael, Susie, Amara, and Luke were spending Saturday and Sunday together playing board games. On Saturday morning, when they woke up, Amara was missing. They looked everywhere for her, but couldn't find her. That was when Luke called the police. Detectives examined the room and asked everybody what they were doing at 4 a.m. Luke said he couldn't sleep, so he went downstairs to the gaming room to play some online games. Michael said he couldn't sleep either, so he went outside to look at the stars. Susie said she followed Michael outside to get some fresh air. That was when the detectives figured out who was lying. Michael and Susie. It was a rainy weekend, remember? The Cursed Photo Alan was on his final stretch to becoming a detective. He passed a bunch of assessments until he reached the last one. This was where his attention to detail skills would be tested. The chief of police handed Alan a photo. He told him, This is Michael, he's having a birthday party. But something in this photo is very eerie. Alan spotted it in two seconds. Can you? There's a hand inside the blue balloon. Well, how did it get there? The right amount of water. Peter was the best problem solver in his class. One day, his chemistry teacher called him up to test his intelligence and inspire his peers. He gave Peter three glass jugs. None of them had any measuring markings on them, but just a label showing their maximum capacity. The first jug was filled with water up to the top and the label read 8 liters. The second was empty, and its label showed 5 liters. The third was also empty, with a maximum capacity of 3 liters. The teacher told Peter to arrange the liquid so that only 2 liters remained in one glass jug without using any measuring tools. Peter figured out how to do it in 4 seconds. First, he needs to fill the 5-liter jug all the way to the top. Then he needs to pour the water from the 5-liter jug into the 3-liter jar until it's full. What remains in the 5-liter jug is 2 liters. 